Hey everyone, welcome back to Mag Sam's. Let's play Wario Land. I'm rm 2 k Midi, and with me is Deathtron Hammer. Howdy, Bob, howdy. So this is the last thing you have to do on Rice Beach for a complete game. The last legacy of Rice Beach. And notice now it's all underwater. Right here, right now. Wasn't the first level also covered in water? Yes. See this strange Whoa. thing that appeared? So you may have noticed when I was getting the coins at the end of the level that there was a little secret. Urgh. So how many coins do you have to put into that thing? Oh, you'll see. There was letters A through J, I think, or... At the, oh, at the level yeah. end. And that tells you, um... So that thing oh. used to have a heart, but now has a key. And you use the key... Yeah, sometimes you can use the key right away in the level. Sometimes you have to come back when something's changed. To open the door. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't go down! Float down in the gaps between... Dive through the gap. Stand next to it and hit the button. There you go. <laughs> what is this? Oh, I can't body slam. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Alright, so I got my pith helmet. We're heading back to the, uh... We're gonna kick that treasure chest's ass and walk away a rich man. Treasure room! Holy crap! It's the conch from Lord of the Flies! Piggy! Peggy! Why is that blue? Hmm. Cause I'm blue, I'll live and die! Anyway, we'll get on to the rest of this level. The rest of this video now. Welcome to level seven. Seven. These things are weird. That was a weird... I only saw the previews for that. Lucky number Slevin. I, I don't know what kind of last name is Slevin. Is it a real last name or did they just make it up for the movie? It sounds made up. Oh well, it isn't as bad as uh, the new Tom Cruise movie, Jack Reacher. That's a lousy name. I remember seeing that when I went to the theaters. Reacher. Because, you know, he reaches around the law. That sounds wrong. You're thinking of reach arounds. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you caused slowdown. Very rare in Game Boy games. They're usually strictly programmed. This was really pushing the hardware to its limit. Uh. It killed the seahorse. So close! You hate those birds with a passion, don't you? They're not as bad as those little devil things. Actually, they have the same motion, pretty much. Just a reskin. Oh, yeah. Alright, be careful. It's very easy to lose your hat in this level. You can, mul you can do it multiple times. Yeah, but you can't go higher. Yeah, I know. You gotta go in this little door here. Oh, yeah. Uh. Ooh, the top of the world, friend. That's... You're near in... Ooh, so... Wait, that... That wasn't the... But... I think two of them do give you the helmet, doesn't it? Yeah. It'll give me my helmet if I do it like that. Yeah. Which I don't want, because I like this hat. Nice. Well played. Ah! Alright. 
It's gonna do the trick. Arrgh! I don't think you can go higher. Uh -huh. Then my memory's off. Those seahorses are creepy. Seahorses are creepy in general. <laughs> that was close. Nice. Yeah, if people have been paying attention to the descriptions of uh, Shadow Hearts, they know about my experiences with seahorses. <laughs> yes. It's an awkward pause. <laughs> Ugh, look at my seahorse. My seahorse is amazing. I hate that in cartoons when they're underwater and they substitute horses, seahorses for horses. They're not even remotely similar. They just look the same. Fucking SpongeBob. I think that was even before SpongeBob, friend. Yeah, it was probably Little Mermaid. But... And wait, your statement just contradicted itself just now. What? Why would they use seahorses even though they look similar? Y you just kind of answered your own. Well, they look similar, but they're not. They're not really beasts of burden. Well, in real life, no, but in the setting of a cartoon, why not? I guess the fish are small too. All right. Ahoy, me mateys. Avast! Let us go down to the land, lava dog. Alright, let's play. This is only going to end. Ah! Yarr! Number two. Ah! This time I swear it'll be different, it'll be different, I swear. Ah, didn't learn my lesson. I think you're addicted to gambling. Am I? I don't know. You kept going despite losing repeatedly. <laughs> and there's my and we've established that you make more money if you don't play. And every time it ends the same way. Wait, can we just do this? Nope. This is level two. Oh wow. They just look the same. I, I recognize it's now the stream level. It's really annoying. So the thing's moving and there's a bomb there. Best not to be in the way of the bomb. Someone set us up. The bomb. It's the bomb. That was a dumb expression. I never used it. The first time I ever heard it was in the movie, uh, Clueless. That must have been where it came from. Or it was already in play by a stupid hill I think it was in the, already in, the, in play. I, I Valley don't know. Girls. I doubt Clueless invented, uh... The I doubt they invented anything. <laughs> no, as I recall, and I could be wrong about this, Clueless was actually based off of an old play that was written, like, in the 1700s. But what they did is that they just updated it to be Valley Girls and stuff. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, Bunny I can has... look it up right now if you want. Sure, I want to know. Alright. Inquiring minds want to know. What the crap is up with Clueless? She I never is saw the movie. literally the Polaroid of perfection. I remember this. She has everything and she give it to you in a second. Looks can deceive. But not just for one she day. She wears her heart on her sleeve. Uh, she'll steal you away. Not just for one day. day. In and her world, she's an ordinary, ordinary girl. girl. <laughs> Why do we remember that song? I didn't even watch the show. <laughs> oh, Brittany Murphy was in it, and rest in peace, Brittany Murphy. I don't even know who that is. Voice of Luann from King of the oh, Hell. Oh, that girl. That's a good choice. Yeah. Alright, yes. It is based... It's a comedy film and loosely, loosely based on Jane Austen's 1815 novel, Emma. Oh. Interesting. Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. I read that. 
how totally warm it. Totally. Had you already read Pride and Prejudice when you read Pride and Prejudice and Zombies? <sighs> or is that your only exposure to Pride and That's Prejudice? That's my only exposure to Pride and Prejudice. That's awesome. I want to read the guy's other book, Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter, sometime. There's a movie now. I'd rather read the book. You know, I bet yeah. there's an audiobook. I bet you a dollar and a donut there is an Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter audiobook. And I'll listen to that at work. I'm finding that the books are much better than the movies. Well, I've always known that, but... Lately, that's been confirmed. I'm just reminded of Demi Moore's Scarlet Letter thing. Oh, fuck Demi Moore. One of the few celebrities I actually have an opinion about, and I hate her. <laughs> There's only one of the celebrities. the Scarlet Letter thing? Yeah. Please, tell the story, Arm 2. Yeah, people were complaining that the, the Scarlet Letter had no... A lot of missing, uh... They changed a lot of things with the... From, from the book to the yeah. movie. And the movie didn't make a lot of sense the way they changed it, but they, it was more dramatic. And someone complained to her about that. She's like, well, it's okay. Nobody reads anymore. It's like... You stupid bitch. <laughs> oh, yeah, and then I was forced to watch that movie in uh, English class in high school. And compare how it didn't follow the book at all. Yeah, not that I liked the book, because the book sucked too, but, um... Not as bad as the movie. <laughs> They have a pointless scene where the pastor's, like, diving naked off of a rock into a waterfall. Yeah, it's like... Why? <laughs> Fan service. And my teacher stops and pa she pauses and on that scene. It's like... <laughs> and we mercilessly made fun of her. <laughs> but she deserved it. Oh, there's the second path. Okay, I'll tell you about this path. This one doesn't just lead to a secret area. This leads to an entire world. An entire world. Are we gonna go there now or later? I'm gonna unlock it now. And then we'll come back through. We're not gonna gamble this time. Oh, you're actually learning my lesson. No, you're not. Next time we'll be back at it. This one leads off this side. Might as well Teapot to the hidden world of... Sherbet Land. I prefer ice cream, though. But that's after- that's technically after this level, so... We finish Mount Teapot and then we'll come back there. We'll see you in a minute. Okay, we're back. Back for this exciting- there's the other entrance. It was such a long walk. They're usually right next to each other, though. Not always, though. Not always. <laughs> Alright, onwards and upwards. Up the mountain we go. Oh yeah, I love this song. There's just something nostalgic about 8-bit music. Working with what they have. Yeah. I think the Game Boy only had, um... 8 channels and a, a rhythm track. Which is actually pretty good compared to what came... It's about the same as the NES. That was close. Very. Oh, I bet that'll have something. Oh, good. That'll have a heart, I'm guessing. I know some people that play games in their childhood and come back to them, they're playing them with robots, and they're crazy good at them. That's not me. I played the crap out of this game and I still suck at it. Aw, oh, you'll always suck on too. 
<laughs> Just like Commander Keen. <laughs> uh, 12 inch worms make a foot. You're the only one to accidentally discover that, though. So it's really bored one day. That'll come up in a future Let's Play. But if you get that, uh, you're a, that's really obscure. <laughs> I won't explain. You know, the blocks always disturb me. They're just normal faces like, Hey, how's it going, man? Oh, fuck you. There we go. Oh yeah. I love this thing. Why don't you marry it? Okay. Da 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 Oh crap. I just activated something. <laughs> Long ago. Do we even want to explain it to the audience? Uh, no. Maybe? <laughs> no. Well, you know, we are here to prostrate ourselves for entertainment. Sure. I'll let you explain it while I keep playing. You're an ass. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um... What should we do it first? No, we'll explain first. So... <laughs> back in the day when we... It was years ago, like 15 years ago, was this? Yeah. Um... Dude, I'm, I feel old. Um... Whenever Arm 2 and I would stop hanging out, like, alright, um, I'm gonna go off and, I don't know, do my thing. We had this stupid <laughs> goodbye we developed. What a terrible ritual. <laughs> and what it is, it's chronicling this serial murderer who repeatedly gets married to people, uh, to, you know... Marries someone and kills him and goes through the whole process. Goes, does t jail time too. And yeah, does jail time. And, um, uh, and we all did it through generic music from yes. different movies and songs. Yeah. Uh, Alright, so should we do it? Sure. Alright, here it goes. Um,. Do a little dance, make a little love, get down tonight, get down tonight. I'm too sexy for my love, too sexy for my da 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 Celebrate good times, come on! It's I'll so never do it again, so the cycle continues. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Does <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 that make any sense? I can't believe we just did that for the you are the only people that know about that. We've yeah. never shared that with any other people. Uh, uh, from two people to, uh, I, to all of YouTube. And I'll go back and get the treasure in just a minute. Well, you find a key, you know there's a treasure about, so... <laughs> it's time to go treasure hunting ladder. Bunny ears. Okay, this is where it is. Is it? Is it? I think I remember where this is. Come on. Look at that funky mojo from behind the corner. If you don't, I have to hurt you. I'd love to see just one time someone do the funky mojo from behind the corner. Just once. Okay. One of these waterfalls has a hidden door. I'm not sure... There it is. Okay. Oh, look, it's so happy! Hello, happy block! A giant coin. I just wanted to be your friend. What the hell, man? No, he hates me. Alright, here's my treasure. Your treasure. A harp. The harp. 
You know that song and how he presents it reminds is very reminiscent of the Legend of Zelda to me. This I always call this the harp from uh, Link's Awakening. I would be surprised. The if coral that, harp. Yeah. Nintendo loves Easter eggs and little things like that. It, it totally reminds me of that. And that little treasure theme song reminds me of that game too. Anyway, we'll skip the rest of this. They're just tossing the coin, tossing the coin, tossing the coin. You didn't listen, you get panicked. I think when I played this game, I had a rule like over a certain coin amount, I, would, I wouldn't gamble. Under a certain amount, I would. Like, if I just have 30. Why not, whatever. Yeah, why not gamble? Alright, oh, next level. Next level shit. Mount Crackpot. Whoa. Why does it beep? When you can't throw it, it beeps. Because it... Um... Because I... Because of your face! No, maybe it's trying to tell you, you can't do that, you can't do that, you can't. Stop trying, stop. No. No! Oh, I feel so much liber more liberated when I'm like, flying through the air. <laughs> flying in the sky like a buddy, you're so high. You damn birdies. Don't want that. Not in the mood for garlic, huh? And sometimes they'll set it up so you'll need to use multiple during a level. That makes me sad. Oh, I need to get my garlic back now. Now you want it. After you scorned it, after you spurned it. Oh yeah. You come crawling back. Hmm. But garlic's good like that, it forgives you. You can never have too much garlic. Unless you're is a vampire. Isn't that what Larry King's advertising these days? Garlic. Yeah. Or is that Robin Leach? I think both. Robin Leach isn't really a thing anymore. Nobody knows who he is. <laughs> oh, and you instantly just toss aside the garlic for the hat again. Oh, well. Garlic still forgives you. Urgh. Do I have to be short to get under there? Is that what you're saying? Only tiny people can go down there? I'll just climb this what tower. What is it when you discriminate against someone who's of shorter height? Is you know, is that height? Heightest? Height? Yeah. Bah. I bet there's a te super technical term for that. Oh, crap. See, I don't know what that is, but it kills you if you touch it. What, the pit? Yeah, it doesn't that stuff... It's, or is it... That's just a pit. Uh, when you come to the level a second time, I think there's water down there, so... So I just know that I don't want to go there. Um, all I know is that life isn't so bad. If it ends after the first time. Ooh, obscure reference! That is obscure. <laughs> Isn't it more like being in muddy water? Isn't so bad. There's well, uh, it depends on how you translate it. Either it's well, there's there's that, and then there's um. Isn't so bad if it ends after the first. Either way, whatever. We'll have to watch it again. Yes, we will. It. It. We just watched the movie on Halloween. But we'll watch the series again sometime. If you can guess what we're talking about, um... Why are we doing that? I'm super cryptic. Super cryptic. Oh, so cryptic. Crypto-fascist. <laughs> yeah. So crypto-fascist. Stop saying everything is crypto-fascist! had one song and it was called um <laughs> um <laughs> Look, just make this thing okay it's called I don't want to sell out yes you do 
Oh, red dwarf. Oh, that could have been bad. Here we go. Out of here. Right, Most of these levels are pretty short, but not all of them. Not all! Not all, but some. I can't make rash generalizations. One more! So I'm assuming the second treasure's in that level because there's an alternate path. So it goes to O. I let my no on the treasures. Oh, really? Yeah, it goes to O. Cool. The big O. Big O! Big O! Big O! I love how you're pointing the uh, repetitive android and not <laughs> Roger Smith himself. It's sure. Roger Smith has all these like cool lines and quotes. But no, you decided to choose the repetitive robot. <laughs> big O. You know, if we were big O, whoa, whoa, big O. Lines that I can't understand because it said kind of bad. Big O. Um, no, if we were, like, smart and cool, we'd be, uh, like, super quotey like the two dudes in Ghost in the Shell Innocence. Yes. But we're not. We've wasted all of our brain cells on Trivia. <laughs> Instead of cool quotes. Trivia. Ah! I purposefully read these books so I can have cool quotes to throw out in conversations. I think you're missing the point. I think you can kiss my ass. No matter how far out a horse goes, it won't, a jackass goes, he won't go come back a horse. Way to botch that awesome line! <laughs> Way to utterly destroy it! That's why I shouldn't be quoting anything. Holy crap! I mean... <laughs> I got it all backwards and tongue-twied. And it's that, no matter how far you send an ass out, it won't come back a horse. It's My like, army shall be as the ultimate leaves, covering the ground. Let me count my thoughts. There are many as grains of sand on the beach. Those are all the quotes I remember from that film. All from real things. Yes. Safe to dance. Safe to dance. Everybody, Everybody look, look at their pants. pants. It's the safe to dance. Oh. Are we singing the safety dance? Because I did a safety dance. Or Wario did a safety dance. I liked that song so much that I bought the single on vinyl. Now, if you YouTubers, people, fan, are super smart and super sneaky, there is a video of me out there somewhere of YouTube, Deathtron Hammer in person, singing the safety dance at a karaoke bar. Really? I haven't seen this video. Nope, you have not, and I will not ever show you. You yourself have to find it if you want to well, find it. Ah. There's also a YouTube video of me somewhere singing Kiss Me by Sixpence, None the Richer in a karaoke bar. You took videos of you singing songs in the karaoke no, bar? No, my friends took videos of me singing these songs. <laughs> There's also a YouTube video of me somewhere singing, And I wanna know! I hate that song so much. So do I! <laughs> That's not what you sang it. Well, no, it's that, um, my, well, I'm just... Jimmy put, my friend Jimmy put my name at uh, the... To the karaoke -er thing, so they're like, Death Death come on up. I'm like, ah, oh, crap, Jimmy did it again. It's like, now you're this song by Creedence Clearwater Revival. I don't know this fucking song. So I'm just following along to the words, oh, this sunny day and beautiful thing. Oh, it's this song. Oh, oh. Ah, what a no! Oh, yeah. Ultra Star. Better than Mario Star? Just as good. But a different song. Yep. Throw him in the lava. Throw him in the lava. Why not? <laughs> Suffer well. I think I missed a treasure in this level. Do, 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 do. 
Yeah, these videos might be chopped in half or whatever it takes. Well, part one, part two. So don't be offended if we don't introduce ourselves again. We're not trying to be rude. I hate you! Oh, these things. I don't know how they worked. Do you ride on them? I... The uh, pelicans, you can throw things into them and they'll spit out coins. But I don't think I just, Maybe it's the same thing with them. They have a basket on their head. Try it. You have nothing Oh yeah, that's what it is. Ah! The weird things you figure out when you're a bored little kid and you only have a few games. I actually had a pretty sizable Nintendo or a Game Boy collection. A lot of it was crap, though. Oh yeah, it was movie games. There we there. go. He drops three. He's laying coins. So if you're really into farming. Ah! Oh. Now I'm just a brute. a brute. I'm not elegant. You cannot fly gracefully in the sky like your swan brethren. I'm so pretty. By the way, do the... Have you noticed that the jet things? Arr! Yes. The jet bottles, they look like windmills to me. Windmill, windmill, for the land. Turn forever, hand in hand. Take it all in, all your stride. It is sinking, falling down. Love forever, love is free. Let's turn forever, you and me. Windmill, windmill, for the land is everybody in. Insert rap here. <laughs> we can't rap. Well, we kind of... Not really. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Arm 2, rap for us. The only rap I know is Dr. Evil's rap from uh, Austin Powers 2. The only rap I know is the one I made up when I was like 8, when I had the multiplication rap CD and there was the free track album. Remember the free yeah. track song? You can make your own multiplication rap. Or, like, here's a rap just for you! You heard us perform, you joined us too. Now here's a beat that's just for you. Make your own rhymes or practice the times. Now you can write an original rhyme. And I suck. Damn multiplication rap! <laughs> yes, blame the multiplication rap for your crappy performance. I can perform. So, yeah, my rap was, um, it always start. I, there, this is the only line in it, I never developed anything else, but it always started with, I went to the store to buy some milk! And then, <laughs> nothing, I was like, ah, that's all I got! <laughs> oh, this reminds me of, um, Clannad. <laughs> Oh, with the, uh, the, the tapes? Yeah. Bomb ahead. Visual novel reference. Nerd. Girly slice of life anime nerd. He wears that badge with pride. Yes. Thanks for applying it to me. And outing me. Yes. I don't know what our audience would do if they didn't know I liked girly shows. Oh well, if it makes them feel better, I wrote a, um... Ah! Well, I wrote a super-powered kind of slice of life with an emergent plot. Is it girly, though? No, not at all. You've read it. Yeah. Is the main character a girl? Mm, no. Is he a dream guy that girls can swoon over? No. Yeah. Is he nice? Is he polite? No, he's an asshole. <laughs> yes, he is. Just like a certain someone I know. Oh, Mr. Tibbles across the street? Yes, Mr. Tibbles. Yeah, fuck that guy. Fuck Mr. Tibbles. He never comes out. <laughs> and the creepy people he hangs out with, they're always coming to his house. They're always coming at all hours of the night. Well, I notice he's I'm up at this time too, but that doesn't ma mean you're creepy. That just no. means I just like being up at night. Yeah. I think this guy's meant to be the ghost of dudes you've killed. All right. Okay, this is the funny thing. One of the few times you get to use this thing. 
So I wish that Mario, or not Mario, Wario would be like flipped over and, you know, so he can keep spinning on the conveyor belt. Yeah, that'd be funny. That way you get twice as many coins. So I truly wish for you to keep this helmet, or have this helmet when we get to the boss of this world, because it just, it's badass if you have this helmet and when you fight him. Yeah. It's like the quintessential Wario here. Well, that, and it's, I don't know, it's kind of a case of brawn versus brawn. So it just, to me it works visually, but I've always been theatric with my games, if you've noticed. Yes. I have noticed. Have you? Yes. Oh, wow, I remember this. Alright. That ends the level, and... What did you do? Holy crap. What did you do? Bam! I'm gonna gamble. Do, 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 do. I know this warrior runs faster the more money you have. I think I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead. Yeah, you know I was about to suggest that. That was a very Japanese pose he just did. Did you see it? No, what did he do? He pulled he pulled down one eyelid and stuck out his tongue. Oh, really? Yeah. What is that supposed to imply when they do that? I don't know. That's the boss at the top. He was on top of the lid and floating above the mountain. Well, you brought him down to Earth. Alright, let's fight him. Bastich. Mono a mono. I have to go through a level first? Fine. I got spoiled by Donkey Kong where the boss is its own level. I can just walk in and fight him. Oh yeah, RM2 has been playing Donkey Kong on his own. He keeps ranting to me about it. Donkey Kong Country 2 now. I've played one. You know, that game's... that series so strayed from its point. Oh, you mean, like, from the original? Well, Donkey in Kong? That, well, in, yeah, well, because think about... Okay, hmm, it's called Donkey Kong Country and Donkey Kong Land. And, um, okay, let's exclude Land and just focus on Country. Hmm, how many times was Donkey Kong the main character of the series named after him? Once. Yeah. The original. I think his name is just Donk. Well, he is Donkey Kong. You're right. <laughs> yeah. So, I, I I just think, to me, that's kind of stupid. I mean, okay, second game, we gotta rescue Donkey. Alright, well, at least there's Diddy. Okay, I can see what they're trying to do. Alright, I can accept that. Yeah. Third game... It's just not Diddy, nor is Donkey. They're both they're both captured now. They are, like aren't they both? Isn't it the case that they're they've been yeah, captured some, both times? Like what? something's wrong with both of them. So it's like what's the point then? I mean, I don't know. Why not just call it Kong Country then? I guess. And here's my also annoyance with calling them all the monkeys Kong. Are you implying that they're all related? Yeah. So is it one giant ancestral party? Because then there's Candy Kong, Donkey's girlfriend, and she's all up for him, but her last name's Kong. So, you know, are we dealing with, like, hillbilly gorillas here? Hillbilly monkeys? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. And... Or they could be married. Arr, I don't know how to avoid I, this I, shit. I don't think they're married, because... Yeah. Because, well, the book with the game said, you know... Girlfriend. Girlfriend, yeah. Is Dixie Diddy's girlfriend? I... don't know? Whatever, this is a random tangent that has no- Then there's like, what, who's the other ape in Donkey Kong Country 3? Baby Kong or whatever? Uh... Derpy Kong? Whatever, I hated him. <laughs> he was... He was less agile than any of the other previous ones. So it's like they're handicapping you. This is another one of those levels that you play twice. Oh, this is that level I was playing. So, remember the bottom of the, um... Yeah, now it's still the infinite pit. Hmm. So, you don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I just like to hear the sound of my own voice. Because I'm obsessed with it. I know I do. That just reminds me of that one time when we were uh, playing Siphon Filter. That jackass. 
We try not to let the comments get to us, but they do. No, they get to you. I don't care. <laughs> don't asso associate me with how you feel. You always do that. I'm projecting. Yes. Uh oh, what the hell? You just screwed yourself. Face it, Tiger. You just crapped out. Tiger handheld electronics. Uh. <laughs> Alright. It's a bull, and that's why you should have had the bull helmet, but... I always associate this with the Chicago Bulls. So the goal here is to... Uh. Get him off into the lava... <laughs> slash yeah. syrup. Yeah, yeah. All that money, all them coins. Go to the strip club and feed a groin. Make it rain! Cha cha cha. Alright. We got quite a nice stash going now. Now they send you over here, but really, next time we'll be going in the uh, Sherbet Land. Yeah, Stone Canyon can kiss our ass. Sherbet Land's where it's at, yo. That's about all the time we have for today. So we'll see you later. Yes. Have a wonderful night. Peace.